We're back, Seven Rivers Racing on KQE GTV. I want to remind you, you can find the show when it's posted in a couple of days at youtube.com slash Seven Rivers Racing. You can also follow along. We go a little bit longer on AM 580 WKTY. I bring you the race report every Saturday from four to five. And this Saturday is gonna be kind of a one-named show as our two guests in the program today are gonna to join some of their family members on the radio from four to five. And uh, it's gonna be a solder filled Saturday. Our guest in the studio today, 15-year-old Michael Sauter running for Rookie of the Year, the Lacrosse Fairgrounds Speedway, and his father, Jay. Welcome into the program. Thanks for having hey, Michael. Us. Hey, Jay. Hi, thanks took, for having took us. took a little bit. I know you guys both have some busier schedules going on. I, I called Jay a couple of days ago, and he said he was already back in the garage <laughs> or back in the workshop working on things. And I've been chopping at the bit to get Michael in the program. He is the youngest driver of the Lacrosse Fairgrounds Speedway and is running a late model. And what's interesting, fans, if you don't know, he has no experience beyond go-karts. To my knowledge, he's a three-time national champion of the, um, when he ran at the Cooley Go-Kart Raceway. A matter of fact, I think that's when I first met both of you was the first year I started announcing up there. Yeah, 2009, I think, at the end of the season is where we first hooked up with you. And I walk on the track, the, the, the go-kart track, and there's these three huge trophies out there. I had never been introduced to what they do at the track, and I'm, they're like, yeah, he's a national champ three times over. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> do you miss go-karting? Um, it was a lot of fun, but this is a lot more fun, but I do miss it a little, so. Now, how do you make the adjustment going from a go-kart track running top speed 60, 65 to a lacrosse late model where you're topping out at 100? How did you make that adjustment in such a, in just a year's matter of time? Well, just go to the track and get some practice out there and feel it out and just kind of comes and you get the feel for it. Now, Jay, this is the, is this the, the same number five quick trip NASCAR late model that you had last year? Yeah, it's the same car I finished out the season the last seven or eight races with last year. And, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity from, uh, you know, Shane Weirs and Craig Reedy. So uh, we're making the best of it. I know. When, when uh, first introduced you when you came back last year, the, the thunderous, it was a good night, too. We had close to 4,000 fans that night. And the thunderous applause that I heard as soon as I said, and coming out of turn four, Jay Sauter, I mean, did it really feel good to get back to lacrosse after, was it a 10 or 11 year um, gap between the time you had ran? It was, I think 1994 was the last time I ran there, which was an Oktoberfest race. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's where I started. So it's really neat for me to bring Michael out there and for him to get his start in the same place that I got my start and obviously to follow in my dad's footsteps. Uh, lacrosse Fairground Speedway is a great place to race. Do you ever find when you're, and, and Jay is not a guy to mess with, <laughs> when you're down to the pits, this man is 150% business. I try to walk over as I do with all the drivers. It's a quick handshake, hello, he's back, he's back to digging into the tires and under the hood. I mean, you know, it, it, this man is all about the business when you're at the track. When you're working on Michael's car, or you're on top of the trailer timing, do you ever get flashbacks of you being in that spot? <laughs> when you first started out there? It's, it's, it's a whole different feel being the driver versus being a crew guy. I always got real nervous when I worked on my dad's cars. Right. And it's that same feeling maybe to a, another degree working on Michael's stuff. Uh, you just, you just want to make sure you're doing everything right. Uh, you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's and you, know, you just don't want to let them down. You want things to be as good as they can be. I saw Jay as I was walking through the pits last weekend as Michael was doing some hot laps. Jay was timing him on top of his trailer mm -hmm. and, and I had a couple of uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just wanting to, to grunt a couple more seconds out of him. Um, if you look at the class of drivers and I ask all the rookies this as we go through the through the programs. Rookies on the track are not respected because they're unknown. They don't know you. They don't know how you drive. And this is very different from a Thunderstock class because you're going an extra 50, 60 miles per hour on a much larger track. Um, do you think you gained respect of the other 30 or so drivers at lacrosse very quickly this year? Um, I think you can gain it really quickly. Um, I think we are gaining it step by step out there. Um, it's just really important too because then if they respect you, when you get side by side, they'll be nice to you, I guess. Nah. <laughs> you know, if you look at the uh, some other tracks that, that I've worked at in the past, um, you have a, a family name. We'll take Sauter, for instance. Uh, Sauter comes to a track, a huge, rich history of racing for many, many years. And drivers look at it two ways. Okay, this guy is going to know how to drive because it's in his blood. It, it's in, they've ran forever and ever. Or it's going to be a young gun, young gun with the last name that doesn't know what he's doing. I think if you look at the two of the drivers I've talked to, 
I think they knew that this was in your blood because I've never never heard a negative comment come out of the way you've raised a lacrosse yet. Uh, you know, it's great having the last name Sauter, but... <laughs> a little pressure yeah. with that. <laughs> but does, does, does you, when you go out on the racetrack, does your dad give you advice on reminding you how to go into a specific corner, when to break, or to hit your marks, or does he just tell you to go have fun? No, he helps you, gives you those hints, get in easy, a little mm -hmm. harder, just how to get through it. Uh -huh. Well, you got a heck of a teacher when you can do that. I mean, you raced how many years? I don't. I can't count I'm not, anymore. I don't it's been a long time. I, think, I started out there in 1979. Is when I started racing. So oh, we've wow. been out there a long time. Um, you know, you, you try to work with a young driver, and you can tell him what you know. But at the end of the day, he's got to have that seat of the pants feeling and know what his car needs and when it needs it. And and uh, he's doing a good job coming from go karts to, to a late model. So we'll uh, we'll just keep working hard, see where it goes. And of course, you had your basic style of driving at lacrosse. Every every late model driver does. You don't have two drivers that drive identical out there. How much of how you drove to learn lacrosse um, have you instilled in Michael, and how much have you let him learn by himself? Well, I think, you know, you, you can tell him things, relate your experiences to him, and, and he'll make that mistake and go, oh, yeah, we talked about that. I should have done right. this this way, or I should have done that that way. Racing the way I learned is totally different from the way it is now. Um, because back when I started racing, we ran four, three or four nights a week, and we ran that same car, so you weren't as aggressive as you probably would be now with you run one night a week and everything's on the line, and as, right. as we can see, we've had some pretty aggressive driving, although it's really smoothed out in the last three, four yeah. weeks here, but uh, it's a different ball game now. Michael Sauter, 15 years old, driver of Quick Trip NASCAR late model, our guest of the program, along with his father, Jay Sauter. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Sauter family, because this has been tradition passed down from generation to generation to generation, and uh, I feel very fortunate being a part of that as they race at the lacrosse fairground speedway. You are watching the KQEG-TV Seven Rivers Racing Show. More to come after this.